Hello race fans and welcome back to the More Freedom series. Today we have traveled to the Coca-Cola Super Speedway for the Coca-Cola 102. This is going to be race number nine in the More Freedom series season four and the points race is getting very close so let's go through your current top ten. Your points leader is the number three of Geek Girl Games. Second will be the 49 of Jetman. Third will be the 11 of TC Roberts. Fourth will be the number 20 of Adam B5000. Adam B also tied for fourth will be the 88 of NM. Sixth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Ninth will be the 799 of Mike Check. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 95 of Zed Brenna. So that's a look at your points. Let's check in on those team and chassis standings because they're getting close too. So MBR still leads away with Douche Motorsports second, Aces to Zed Motorsports third, Amish Buggy Racing fourth, and rounding out the top five, the Drop Air Racing team. Chassis standings are Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all your points and everything for this Coca-Cola 102. And they are getting these cars fired up, and it's going to be an exciting day here today at Coca-Cola. So I think it's about time the crowd's filing in, so let's go racing. As they get these cars fired up here today for this Coca-Cola 102, let's go through your starting top 10. Starting on the pole will be the number 71 of Kung Fu Beer, and on his outside, the 88 of NM. Starting third will be the 34 of Super Steak, and on his outside, the 96 of Nico. Starting fifth will be the 13 of King of the Aces, and on his outside, the 777 of Seabass. Starting seventh will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber, and on his outside, the 660 of Garrett Miller. Starting ninth will be the 300 of Resemble, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 211 of Hog. So that's a look at your starting top 10 today for this Coca-Cola 102. And if you're worried, you're like, oh, my favorite driver isn't starting in the top 10. Well, this is a super speedway, and it's going to be wild. It's going to be crazy. There's going to be passing. There could be crashing. Knock on wood that there isn't. But it's going to be a wild, crazy day today here at Coca-Cola. It's beautiful. It's sunny. It's 80 degrees. There's no wind. So these cars have the perfect, almost the perfect conditions today to get around this race course. And we're going to see what they can do as KFB is leading the way here today for Kager Racing. And he, again, still trying to get that first win of his career here in season four. And fingers crossed for him, he has done, he has been up there in the top 10. He has finished second. He's finished second in the points. Uh, still yet to win a race. So hopefully today is gonna be his day here in the More Freedom Series. He's got NM on his outside. Super Stake right there behind him. And a couple of Amish buggy racing cars right there in the top 10. But KFB is leading us down to take the green flag here at Coca-Cola down this very, very long front stretch. The green flag is out and we are underway. Those cars wound up to a lot of miles per hour here at Coca-Cola. S71 leading out right now. We are going to be heading in 200 miles an hour here today as you see three wide battle for the second, multiple wide battle for the second position as the 88 of NM tucked in right there behind the 71. NM going down to the bottom right here under three and four right there in front of the 13 of King of the Aces. Super high speeds here as the 96 of Nico caught only three wide on the outside right there. See if he can get down to the middle or bottom section as your leader here on lap number one. Looks like it's going to be the 88 of NM. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. Again, your leader here on lap number one is the 88 of NM. Current fastest lap is going to be 219 miles an hour as we see the 300 of Resemble getting that draft off the 88 of NM. He's working down to the inside. Right behind him is going to be the double zero of Mudbone as they head down the backstretch. 32, 34 laps of hopefully green flag action here today as King of the Aces just absolutely powers that Toyota. Down to the bottom of the track right there, right behind the, thir or the 300. 
Resemble now pulling up right there to get the draft off the 88 of NM as they head down the front stretch. So Resemble takes over the lead here as the 25 of JTM down to the bottom line. Right there in front of that 23 of Fuller than you had a rough go last week. And I, it, as a commentator's note, talked to the More Freedom Series directors, and they said that they're going to be reviewing Watkins Glen and uh, for next season to see if they can force some changes into that pit road uh, so we don't have all those issues that we had this season. But the 25 of JTM trying to pull out to the lead here as he is working down the front stretch. He's going to pull up in front of that 300 of Resemble. The 23 of Fuller Than You trying to get a run in the middle line with a 356 of Ice Cream some days. JTM going to be your leader as the 88 of NN down to the bottom. Right there behind him is going to be the 33 of Harvey Jones and his teammate, the 49 of Jetman. So NM is now to the back bumper of JTM. Uh, two MBR cars right there leading the way. <laughs> As you see that, 33 of Harvey Jones gets that draft off the 88 of NM. Ducks down to the inside. NM sliding high. He's going to come down and get that draft back on the 33 of Harvey Jones along with the 49 of Jetman. Here comes the 999 of Deviant who started 31st on the day. Again, Deviant now up to the fifth position. Last week's winner, the 799 of Mike Check there, right there with him. So the Drop Bear Racing team is working towards the front as the 999 of Deviant. Again, starting 31st, now up to top 10 right now. As we see the 88 of NM trying to waste no time, get down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. Here comes that 49 of Jetman. Jetman's going to try to get the draft on the 88s. He does get a draft into, into the turn. He's going to slide up. Ooh, very, very close right there. These high speeds leave no room for mistakes, as we do see some mistakes in the back of the pack. It looks like it's going to involve the 96 of Nico and multiple douche motorsports vehicles. And your pole sitter, the 71, the 23, also going to be involved in this caution. 203 of signs involved. Good look at that orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. So we are under caution here on lap number six with JTM leading the way. Harvey in second. In him third. <laughs> Jetman fourth and Mike check in fifth so the rough season for the 96 of Nico continues on here at Coca-Cola after being a perennial contender for the last two seasons winning the championship season three season yes yeah, season three no season two Finishing third season three, he is definitely got some demons going on in his car this season. So we're going to watch JTM bring us into the pits here. Get slowed down to that pit road speed. We'll watch what brought out that caution in just a moment. We'll see what JTM does here for tires and fuel. And then we'll check out that caution. Slowing up into his pits. He is into his pit box. Right side tires going on that 25 Dodge for MBR. Fuel going in. Right side tires only for the 25 of JTM. He is down and away. 96 of Nico is working towards his pit box right now. It's going to be a long stop for that 96, I feel like. And the 71. And the 30, 33. Oh, looks like that 88 of NM is going to beat the 25 of JTM off of pit road. So we will check out what brought out that caution uh, right now. We'll check it out right now. Well, this caution is going to be brought out by the 300 of Resemble. He's going to get into the back end of the 23 of Fuller Than You. So let's watch this caution. <laughs> I want to take back my previous statement of being brought out by three. Well, Resemble did sort of get into the 23 of Fuller Than You, but that was Fuller's fault. He came down in the driving line and got in and hooked himself, 
yes, it was actually Fuller's fault. <laughs> Let's watch this caution again as he came down in front of that 300 of resemble. Final look from the roof cam on the 96 of Nico. Let's check this out. So while we were looking at that caution, we had some interesting pitch strategy go on. The 88 of NM came in a couple laps later, added more fuel, and then went back out. Or saw, maybe had a tire. Uh, they thought maybe they had a tire going down. But NM goes back into the pits, fills all the way back up, comes back out. So let's go through those that are out of the race as due to that caution. The 23 of Fuller than you will be out of the race. The 71 of Kung Fu Beer is out. The 356 of Ice Cream Some Days is out. The 203 of Signs is out. Uh, and the 72 of Duchess all out of the race due to that caution. Uh, those involved were the 34 of Super Snake, the 96 of Nico, the 8 of Moon Bunny. I believe I saw the double zero involved in there a little bit. And the 300 of Resemble. Resemble came away unscathed as a result of that caution. Again, apologies to that 300 of Resemble as that was actually... Fuller coming across his nose and racing incident, no fault on the the 23 or the 300, just a racing incident here as they're going 200 and let me tell you, the fastest lap of the day here today was is by the 07 of Douche Baggins at 254.022 miles per hour or 42.516 seconds. So they are going extremely fast as we see that beautiful Orange and Black Dodge Challenger pace car dip off the track. Lean us down to the green flag is the 25 of JTM on his outside will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Right behind him is going to be that 799 of Mike Check. Green flag is out. We're back underway here at Coca-Cola. We're going to see how that damage does on that 96 and the 34 and the 8s as JTM sandwiched right now between the 799 and the 33 of Harvey Jones, the 20 of Adam B5000, who's currently running top 10 in points, single car team is that 20 of Adam B5000 for Elliott Racing. Elliott Motorsports, sorry, Elliott Motorsports, as we saw G3 way down, the, way down below the yellow line right there. She currently your points leader and she is trying to put her car up to the front. She does need those five bonus points here today as we see the 33 of Harvey Jones up a little bit there. Currently still under green. Adam B5000, your leader here on uh, lap number 10. Let's check back and we do see these are all the cars dealing with damage. So the 88 of NM definitely is currently off the pace. I think that's due to being caught out from the big pack, being caught behind those that had damage. Uh, as the 999 of Deviant, again, Deviant started four races down this season, and he has made up a heck of a lot of points. He's already, he's still in 33rd in points, but he's only 70 points behind Seabass right now for the 32nd position. So Deviant kind of picking up where he left off last season with dump and roll racing and moving right into it, getting that feel in that Toyota right there with uh, the Drop Bear Racing team. It's like he hasn't even been out of the series, already up to the lead as the uh, 544 Frederick Winklevom right there running in second. Here comes the 51 of AJM who has won a race here this season as it is three wide. Oh goodness. Oh, there it is, boys. Oh, we got JTM on his lid. The 666 just got hammered. The 88 done. The 07 over. This is mass hysteria. Mass chaos, folks. Mass chaos as the 999 of Deviant. This might be the only four people left in this race. At the end, right now, I know there's more than four, but I think we just saw the big one happen right here on lap number 13 going 250 miles an hour. 
So we're going to be thinking about the safety of those drivers after that huge collision, that huge crash here at Coca-Cola. A uh, bad race all around for a lot of these drivers. And, I mean, with these speeds, you can't – there's there's nothing you can really do at these speeds. And just we saw it happening live as the – I think it was the 666 was getting into uh, getting into it there. So we're going to watch and see if Deviant – everybody looks like they're coming into the pits. Well, everybody that's left – in this race looks like they're coming into this pits which might not be very many people at the end i don't know we're going to find out we do see that 666 on pit road the three is already done she is out comes a 49 and jet man looks like he does have some damage there watching adam b he's got left side tires going on and fuel going in looks like left side tires only and fuel for all these drivers let's check out that horrific caution we saw it live but let's watch it happen here on the replay as the 666 and the 07 get tangled up here just nowhere to go for either one of those as it was becoming four wide right there on could have been the front stretch i'm not quite sure but let's watch it and happen there's the contact they're up the track you see him take out the 25 He's outside the fence as a 666 absolutely gets hammered by that 420 at Queen of Hearts. Let's watch it from the 25 at JTM from the roof of the 25. We'll watch it from the double zero of Mudbone. We can already see it starting to happen. And finally, from the 420 at Queen of Hearts, you can see how far back she is. And watch how quick she closes in on this going 240 or 250 miles an hour. So the big one has happened here today at Coca-Cola. Let's go through all the people out of this race as a result. The 29 of Wishbone Attack is out of the race. The 49 of Jetman is out. The 420 of Queen of Hearts is out as we get the one to go sign. The 25 of JTM out of the race. The 13 of King of the Aces. The 211 of Hog. The 88 of NM. The 666 of Pistol Pete. The 3 of Geek Girl Games. The 07 of Douche Baggins the 33 and the 33 of Harvey Jones all out of this race as a result of that caution. We actually have about half the field left. Uh, we'll go through your current top 10. Your leader is that 999 of Deviant. Second will be the 51 of AJM. Third will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Fourth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Fifth will be the 300 of Resemble. Sixth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seventh will be the 10 of, Sco of Scooter. Eighth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Ninth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And rounding out your top 10 will be the double zero of Mudbone. So, could be a big points day for a few of these drivers that are left in the race, like TC and Adam B5000 is still up there. Uh, we still have a few of the top 10 running. You know, points leader, excuse me, the points leader, second place of G. G3 is out, the points leader. Jetman is out. NM is out. Queen of Hearts is out. So they're going to fall, I believe, in the standings because they are, they're they done for the day. But I don't know. We're going to see what happens with still 16 laps to go here at Coca-Cola. And I can already hear the fans and the crowd saying, wow, this is wild and crazy, These you know the speeds at which these cars are driving. They might start thinking about all those restrictor plates that they put on at Talladega and Daytona, and maybe next season the More Freedom Series might be looking at that stuff. But we're going to see that 999F Deviant is underway. He's leading us, he led us back to the green flag. 
When it's outside is that 51 of AJM. Making it three wide right now is the 20 of Adam B5000 with the remaining field. As we see the 51 of AJM pulling out to the lead and I think NM is now regretting going into the pits and putting himself in the back of the pack like he did because he's now out of the race. As we see Adam B5000 lined up on the bottom with the with the 300 of Resemble and the 10 of Scooter and the 329 of Heck of a Duber as Mike Check making it three wide with that 10 of Scooter right now. That low line pulling ahead of the 51 of AJM. He's going to get a bit of a draft right here as they go down the front stretch. Back stretch. <laughs> nope, that was the front stretch. As it is still three wide right up here. So AJM down to the inside of the 300 of Resemble. He's trying to make up time on that 20 of Adam B5000. With about half the race to go here, the 51. Into the second position, right behind your leader, the 20 of Adam B5000, 300 of Resemble, the 10 of Scooter, and the 799 of Mike Check, who's now working down to the inside. Here comes that 40 of Veteran Chaos. Vets, again, still in the top 10 as of right now in points. So Vet is looking to make a good points day today, as well as the 799 of Mike Check. Mike Check looking for win number two this season. As they work down the front stretch inside of his teammate, the 300 of Resemble, also all three Drop Bear Racing Team vehicle still in this race. Probably the largest number of cars per, of te uh, for teams that are still in this race. As the 51 and the 96, the only two MBR cars left. The 51 still in second position. Here comes those Drop Bear Racing cars, the 300, the 799. Mike check down to the inside of his teammate. He's going to pull in front of him. Here comes a 40 of Veteran Chaos and the 999 of Deviant. So drop air, the Drop Air Racing Team is on one today. If they can survive here at Coca-Cola, they're going to have a good points day, especially if they all finish in the top 10. As Mike check right there to the back bumper, that 20 of Adam B5000. As we head down the back stretch, I was making sure which stretch we were on. Down the back stretch into three and four is the 799 of Mike Check down to the bottom. His teammate, the 999 of Deviant, thinking about going with him here. The 300 stuck on the outside with the 20 of Adam B5000. Here comes that 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. So Frederick working 20th in position this in the points this season, uh, finishing, I believe he finished last, last season. So, so far so good for that 544 as the 777 of Seabass now into the picture. So the 999 of Deviant right there trying to get to the back bumper of his teammate, the 799 of Mike Check. Working second place under the 20 of Adam B5000. Here comes the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. a lot of hot action, hot heavy action here today at Coca-Cola as the, the 999 pulling out to second place in front of the 20 of Adam B5000. Adam has a three wide battle right now with the 300, the 544 as they got the 51 and the 40 lined up behind that 300 of Resemble. Frederick pulls up high here. So Adam B5000 down to the inside of the 999 of Deviant. He's going to take advantage of that draft by the low line, put him back into second position as he works to the back bumper of the, the 799. Adam down to the inside right here. Working down underneath that 799 of Mike Check, the 999 of Deviant and the 300 of Resemble trying to throw their hat into the mix. Has the 544 is just way down to the inside right now. So three wide for third position right here. Frederick down to the bottom. Here comes the 40 of Veteran Chaos to give him a push. Duber, I think, lost the draft here. Duber's losing the draft here, so he still runs currently in the 10th position. As we have a three again, three wide battle for the third position with the 544. Now the 40 
Working with the set with the triple seven to sea bass. As the 20 of Adam B5000 and the 999 of Deviant are currently pulling away by about a tenth of a second. Over the third place car, that 544, Frederick Winklevom, who is now being passed by the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Vet trying to get a win here. I mean, everybody in the top 10 are trying to get a win as the battle for every place but the top position is getting wild. <laughs> wow. The uh, amount of speed they're carrying into these turns and then just dropping down to the bottom like they do as we see all these cars coming to the pit. So as we cross our fingers as they run into the pit road, so the entirety of the field as... I am not sure what just happened to the 51 of AJM. As I think that 544 or the 329 of Heck of a Duber rear ended him. Yeah, the 329 of Heck of a Duber is going to rear end the 51 of AJM. Probably going to end AJM's day as he's going to have probably spend an extended amount of time here in the pits. He's got right side tires going on. He's going to have to repair that dam. Oh, he is not repairing that damage. He is just going for it, folks. So first off of pit road is going to be the triple nine, the 999 of Deviant. Uh, currently, the most laps led are going to be by the 20 of Adam B5000. And only held by the 25 at JTM, who also led six laps here today. Watching them come out of the pits. Good outlap for that 999 of Deviant. The 20 of Adam B5000 also going to have a good outlap. A little bit of ways back to the 544 and the 799. So Mike Check battling it out right now with the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Next comes the 40 of Veteran Chaos, the 10 of Scooter, the 51 of AJM, and that 300 of Resemble. Checking back through this field. As the 329 has fallen way off the pace as of right now. As we see the 777 and his teammate, the double zero of Mudbone, running together. This is for the 10th position. I'm not sure how much AJM will be able to keep up here, but we'll see. We'll check back in on your leaders. With about eight laps to go, your leader is at 20 of Adam B5000. Second's going to be that 999 of Deviant. They're working down the back stretch, I do believe. I believe that is correct. The back stretch, uh, they are working down it. And a three and four as they're about to catch up to. It looks like they're about to catch up to the 96 of Nico and the 660 of Garrett Miller. So a couple damaged cars here. Excuse me, Nico damaged early on as Adam B5000 kind of ducked in behind him. Nico down to the bottom. We're going to see if Adam takes advantage of that. I know he is riding right there behind. Uh, Deviant was just riding right there behind him. So Deviant down to the inside. We're going to see if Adam goes next. Adam does go. A little bit of draft off that 96 of Nico. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe just a little bit of fuel savings right there. As that last lap for the 96 was about 20 miles an hour off the pace. As the 799 and the 444 now work to the back bumper of that 96 of Nico. Mike check off the gas a little bit, trying to get down to the inside. Here comes the 544. They're going to try to catch up to the leaders, the 20 and the 999, as the 20 of Adam B5000. I think he's got to just 
or his car is just really hooked up here today at Coca-Cola. He is, you know, Deviant was riding behind him and was not really trying to pass, but Adam gets in there behind him, wants to get around, wants to get back into the top position, as I think he will make this pass going into three and four. We're going to see if that allows, well, the 799 is now just running by himself. We're going to see if the 544 can make up a little bit of distance here. As Adam B5000 back out to the lead, currently has led the most laps here today at Coca-Cola after just the wild, crazy excitement that was early on, um, which just, you know, too bad for all these drivers that, you know, put in all that effort today and went out very early in the race, especially, you know, for JTM who had led six laps, had a fantastic car early out of the race now and you know just a, a very very tough break for all of those the 329 of heck of a duber has fallen way off the pace as well so it's going to be just a couple laps before i think these leaders catch up to him they're about 20 miles an hour faster than duber running by himself right now so i don't know if duber had some kind of issue with his car and that's why, I mean, he did rear end the 51 of AJM, so that could be part of it. But as we watch the 95, running right here with the 34 of Super Snake and the 8 of Moon Bunny again. I don't know if the 95 was damaged or not. He must have been, because um, he is currently running you know, about 10 miles, actually about 16 miles an hour off the pace. And where we see the 11 of TC Roberts running in the 11th. And we see that triple seven of Seabass did get around the double zero of Mudbone. And the 51 of AJM still riding right behind the 300 of Resemble. Probably not able to make a run on him due to the damage on the back. And there is the 40 and the 10. This is for fifth and sixth. Looks like that last lap, they swap position. So Scooter up to the fifth position. Vet back to the sixth position. As we see the 799 of Mike Check going around that 300 of, or the 329 of heck of a duber. So Deviant now falling off a little bit as he is heading into the pits. So a pit stop for the 999 of Deviants. We'll watch him as he comes down pit road for the final time with a couple laps to go here at Coca-Cola. He is gonna bring in that in and out Bur in and out Burger Pringles Toyota for the Drop Bear Racing Team. Right side tires going on. For the 999 of Deviant Fuel going in for those last couple laps. Oh, four tires stop for the 999 of Deviant. So hopefully it this is a scheduled stop and not an unscheduled stop. He's going to fall back to the 11th position. He's down and away. So here comes the 20 of Adam B5000. And so I think that was an unscheduled stop. For the 999 of Deviants as the 20 of Adam B5000 takes the white flag here today at Coca-Cola. The 999 of Deviant is going to lose a few more positions as the 799 of Mike Check, I think, is going to probably finish second here today. But we watch the 20 of Adam B5000 coming down this backstretch into three and four for the final time. He... He was a survivor here today. He survived those early cautions. He survived to the end of this race, and he is coming off a of three and four, not pitting. Down the front stretch is the 20 of Adam B5000. He's going to be your winner here today for this Coca-Cola 102. So, again, your winner is that 20 of Adam B5000. As we see, pretty much... Well, we figured the 799 finished in second there, but let's go through your finishing top 10. Your winner is the seven or the 20 of Adam B5000. Second place will be the 799 of Mike Check. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. Fourth will be the 10 of, of Scooter. Fifth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Sixth will be the 300 of Resemble. Seventh will be the 51 of AJM. Eighth will be the 777 of Seabass. Ninth will be the double zero of Mudbone and rounding out your top 10 with the 11 of T.C. Roberts. 
So unfortunate break for that 999 of Deviant having to come in. I think he must have had some tires going down because uh, he had to do that four-tire stop. He's going to finish 14th on the day. Next week, hopefully not as exciting, but still exciting, we go to Chicagoland for the Chicagoland 80. So I'm looking forward to that. That should be an exciting race. Let's check in on your current points. As you know, the three of Geek Girl Games was out. The three, the 49 were both out. Adam's going to win it here today. I think he's going to probably take over your points lead. We're going to, but you're seeing all of that on the screen right now. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. So it could be a good day for a lot of teams. I don't know. You're seeing the ch team and chassis standings on the screen right now. We'll see, you'll see who's leading both of those. Well, that's going to do it from a caution-filled Chicago, Chicago <laughs> Coca-Cola 102 here today. And just unfortunate for pretty much half the field as they were out um, and went out early, too. So tough break for a lot of drivers here today. I, I, I think you're going to see the More Freedom Series re revisit, um, possibly revisit the, whatchamacallit on these cars, the, um, I, you know, like they have a Daytona and Talladega. I don't know. I can't think right now. But I think you're going to see them revisit that and maybe slow these cars down a little bit from the top of 254 miles an hour. But, hey, that's going to do it today from Chicago from Chicago, from Coca-Cola for this Coca-Cola 102. Your winner today, the 20 of Adam B5000. So congratulations to him. Until next week at Chicagoland, take care. <laughs>